I think the foreign lads changed it. The foreign lads changed the situation, different mentalities. The English lads would all go out, you know, and have a pint and after the game don't think nothing of it. But the, 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 the French lads and whoa, what, what are you drink all that for? And they, they couldn't understand. But it's only mentalities. But then they might have a cigarette and we'd be like, ah, why are they smoking for? And I remember not having a drink for 12, 13 days on tour, really concentrating, what we got to try. I was feeling so fit. Everybody was going, this is fantastic. We're really looking fit now and, and, and great. So last night we have a meeting, he's really happy. He said, what a great camp we've had, you know, fantastic. We're going home tomorrow, so you guys can do whatever you like tonight. You can go out, go to the pub, because you knew you had a beer every now and again. Off we went, and uh, I remember Steve Bold was uh, in our team at the time, and, and Gilles Grimondi just signed for, for us, and one of the French ladies, Remy Gar, Gilles Grimondi, Patrick Vieira, Manu Petit. So they all was going that way to a coffee shop. And the English says we're all going to the pub. So that was the difference. So Jules Gamondi went, he was a really good lad, Jules, and he went, uh, do you mind if I come out with you guys? I said, yeah, Jules, you'll have a much better time with us. So as we walked into the pub, I always remember Steve Bowl coming out to the bar. There was probably five of us with Jules Gamondi. Steve Bowl's gone to uh, Jules Gamondi, what do you want to drink? He said, a small glass of wine. Okay, no problem, small glass of wine. And he went, 35 pints as well. And there was only five of us, and they lined them all up like that. And Jules Gamondi was like this. And he went, I always remember his face, he went, is there anybody else coming? I said, no, this is it, Jules, seven each. What? And he, he, couldn't, he couldn't get his head round. The lads, like, the first two didn't touch the sides. And then it was, it was like this, oh, I can't believe you can drink that much and all that. Anyway, so now we're a little bit tipsy now because we haven't had a drink for 12 days. So we're walking down to the next pub. We're going to go to another pub now. And we remember walking past all the French lads and they're all smoking, a lot of them, Patrick and Manu Petit. And, and I'm thinking, how can we win the league this year? We're all drinking and they're all smoking. And what happened? We win a double that year. So it just shows you that sometimes you can let your hair down. It doesn't, doesn't harm you too much. And I think the French lads really enjoyed being around the English lads. The mentality was totally different. And it was more of a family in England than it was in France when they was there. It was more as a job for them in France. But in England, it was more mates as well as, as being a, a, a job.